morning Celtic fans, in today's Celtic FC news on the one in Celtic fans view YouTube channel I talk about Rage and Chris Boyd slaughters brainless Rangers, major update on Albion Ajay's future and he's basically been told to find a new club this summer, no shock that one and a huge step towards the title Chris Sutton tells Celtic to smash the hoodoo against the bogus side that are Livingston. Chris Sutton has pointed out the, both the positive mindset that the Celtic players and the supporters need to have going into tomorrow's game. Sutton believes the Celtic dressing room shouldn't be bogged down by unwanted record in West Lothian. Instead, they should be looking at the fixture as a chance to dish out a long overdue hammering to Livingston. Let's face it, Celtic should have no fears going into the game tomorrow. Livingston game is absolutely massive and it's about time that Celtic won there. That's how I would be going into the game, Chris Sutton said. The Celtic dressing room shouldn't be worrying about a winless run or hoodoos. I think this, this side is due a doing from us. That's basically what he said. Chris Sutton believes the fans are already looking at three points, uh, a three-point lead. We should be increasing that to six points tomorrow. It's just as simple as that. Begin this game and it's, uh, we're closer to the title. You know, it takes us another three points closer. We shouldn't be heading to places such as Ibrox or the Tony Macaroni Stadium looking for a draw. Sutton insists that the fans should be looking to bury this apparent hoodoo that's went back to 2007. Chris Sutton is right. The Celtic fixture and the fans, you know, we've had this in our calendar for a long time. We've put this down as a game that's a must-win game. We get this game won and Celtic basically go six points clear. You know, we're already three points clear, so there's a lot for Celtic to be really happy about. Talking about Celtic players, Celtic are basically going to tell Albion Ayeti that he's free to find a new club this summer. The Switzerland international, who's 25, has struggled to make an impact at Parkhead since his arrival in 2020 from West Ham. West Ham. Ajeti doesn't feature in Andrew Postacoglu's plans going forward and the club will listen to offers for him in the upcoming window. A loan move is probably more likely this summer. Unless Ajeti can get his act together and he can get a run of games and some team comes in for him, but I can't really see the player getting a good deal. He's on really good wages. You know, He's recently just recovered from a hamstring injury. You know, we had him sidelines for a couple of months. So, you know, he, he came back last weekend for the 2-0 win, over, that Celtic win over St Mirren, but it didn't really get enough time to make an impact on the game. Anyway, the manager, the Celtic manager, has revealed in the press conference yesterday that our big Greek striker is back in full training and will return to the squad in the crunch clash with Livingston on Sunday. Further pushing the jetty down the, down the pecking order. You know, he's got Kyogo and everybody in, in front of him, so... You know, anyway, what's the score going to be tomorrow? I'm going to go for a narrow 1-0 win, Celtic. I think it's we're overdue a win down in Livingston. It will be a great day. There'll be a lot of fans there. There'll be 8,000 Celtic fans, you know, so... And the fans are going to get right behind them. We know it's getting closer to the, it's the business end of the season. Celtic have it in their grasp. You know, it's about touching distance. Squeaky bum time across the road. And on uh, talking about across the road... Rangers so-called legend Chris Boyd has added his voice to grown calls for Rangers to cancel their participation in November's friendly against Celtic on Sunday. Um, obviously this is going on and on and on. The fans, fans from outside Scotland don't see what the problem is. But if you've went to, if you went to games for the last 20 years, if you've went to Celtic Rangers games, you know, when you get bumped away down the industrial estate, you come off your bus... You've got the police cordon. You can't get anywhere near them. You know, there's there's that animosity right off right the start. As soon as you get off the bus at Ibrox, you know, you're walking down for the, the industrial estate and then you turn left and you're walking towards the ground and you can just feel the anger coming from them. You know, and it's, it's a great feeling when you win. When you go there and you win and have been there many, many times over the years and there was nothing better. And the best time I can remember is probably when uh, little Lee Griffiths standing up waving the Irish flag right in front of us. You know, it was brilliant days, brilliant days. And we have to remember that the reason that they we don't have the big allocation anymore is they got fed up of Celtic winning. You know, when they when they when their club when they let their club die, as Lee Griffiths says, you know, 
they just didn't want us there celebrating as much in big as numbers. So Club 1872 or whatever it was wanted us to wanted them to reduce the allocation. So they did. So anyway, Chris Boyd thinks it's up to that Rangers should end their involvement and calls the decision utter madness. He says Qantas Airline does not have enough <laughs> an amount of baggage that goes along with a Glasgow derby. The sooner someone at Rangers or Celtic realises and cancels this brainless idea of a friendly in Sydney, the better. Well, I just I think it's hilarious seeing Chris Boyd in just total meltdown mode. And hopefully tomorrow Celtic can move on, get this win and get even more misery on Sevco, get a couple of more points closer to that title. And on that note, you know, have a great day, Celtic fans. I shall see you on the next video. <laughs>